In January 2025, the AI industry experienced a significant shift when a Chinese startup named DeepSeek, with funding from High Flyer Capital Management in Hong Kong, unveiled an advanced language model known as DeepSeek R1. Prior to this, DeepSeek was relatively unknown, but that changed rapidly. DeepSeek R1 was not only excellent, but it outperformed models from big companies like Meta. It was also cost-effective to train, reportedly costing just a few million dollars, which is comparable to what Meta pays a top AI team leader. Even with its low costs, the model excelled in the open source category. Meta was surprised by this turn of events. They had been concentrating on launching powerful open source models through their Llama brand as part of their AI strategy. These models were available for free unless they were being used by more than 700 million users every month, in which case special licensing fees would apply. However, Meta was now facing stiff competition from a less expensive but very effective alternative. The most recent Meta model, Llama 3.3, was released in December 2024. However, by January, it was already considered outdated due to the release of DeepSeek R1. This situation led Meta to make a quick and important decision. On a day filled with hope for the future, Mark Zuckerberg shared big news on his Instagram. He introduced a new group of AI models called Llama 4. This was Meta's way of addressing concerns from DeepSeek. Two brand new models were launched right away. Llama 4 Maverick with 400 billion parameters and Llama 4 Scout with 109 billion parameters. Programmers could start utilizing or adjusting them immediately on Llama.com in the AI sharing platform Hugging Face. There was also an announcement about a bigger model called Llama 4 Behemoth. This model has 2 trillion parameters, but it is not yet ready for release. Meta mentioned that it is still being trained and did not provide a specific launch date. In artificial intelligence, parameters are like the knobs that determine how a model works. Having more parameters typically leads to increased strength and improved performance. The Llama 4 models were not only large, but they were also designed to process more than just text. To better understand this new AI release, let's dive deep into its unique features and what makes it stand out from others. A new kind of model, the three Llama 4 models were able to work with different types of content. This means that they could both read and write text, as well as work with videos and pictures. While audio capabilities were not specified, the move to a multimodal design was a significant advancement. One more crucial aspect was the length of context. This means how much data a model can process and output at a time. Llama 4 Maverick could handle 1 million tokens simultaneously, equivalent to approximately 1,500 pages of text. Llama 4 Scout, on the other hand, could handle 10 million tokens, which is roughly 15,000 pages. This made them ideal for fields like medicine, engineering, and literature, where long documents are frequent. The capability to process large amounts of data at once provided these models with a significant advantage. Users were able to input vast quantities of content into the model and receive complete responses without needing to split it into smaller parts. The Llama 4 series utilized a technique known as Mixture of Experts, or MOE. This concept was popularized by other AI labs such as OpenAI and Mistral. Instead of relying on one large model to handle all tasks, MOE combines multiple smaller models, called experts, to work together. Each expert is trained to perform a certain task. When a user sends a message, only the expert required for that task will respond, along with a common expert. This ensures that the system doesn't have to use all of its resources for every request which makes it faster and more cost-effective to operate. Llama 4 models utilize 128 experts, but only a small number of them were assigned to each token, making the system efficient. Meta explained that the Llama 4 Maverick could operate on a single NVIDIA H100DGX server or across multiple machines for improved performance. These models were created for individuals to host themselves. Meta did not release a hosted API or provide pricing for using them on their own servers. They instead emphasized open distribution. The models were also incorporated into Meta's AI features in apps such as WhatsApp, Messenger, Instagram, and the web. Despite it being one of the largest, it is also pocket-friendly. Big performance, small cost Meta provided cost estimates for utilizing the new models. 
The price for using Llama 4 Maverick ranged from 19 cents to 49 cents per 1 million tokens, taking into account both input and output tokens. This cost was significantly lower than other popular models such as GPT-40, which was estimated to be $4.38 per million tokens by community benchmarks. Shortly after the announcement, a cloud artificial intelligence provider called Grok revealed their pricing. They made Llama 4 Scout and Maverick available at very affordable prices. Scout charges 11 cents for tokens used as input, 34 cents for tokens used as output, and an average cost of 13 cents for both. The cost for Maverick services is 50 cents for each input and 77 cents for each output, with an average price of 53 cents overall. The affordable prices made it possible for more businesses and researchers to, to access these models without breaking the bank. Smarter Learning with Meta Meta revamped its approach to training the models by emphasizing improvement in reasoning, coding, and problem-solving abilities. Although their training method differed from that of DeepSeek R1 and OpenAI's reasoning-focused models, the models were still highly competent. Meta implemented specific training methods. To begin with, they eliminated more than half of the simple prompts used during training. Next, they implemented a loop that progressively presented the model with more difficult challenges. This strategy aided in improving the model's performance on complex tasks such as math and logic. They also began using a new method called MetaP. This approach enabled them to configure the training settings, such as learning rates for one model, and then use the same settings for other models of varying sizes. This resulted in quicker and more cost-effective training. MetaP was utilized to evaluate small models, acquire the outcomes, and then implement the same approach on larger models such as Behemoth. This approach helps save time and reduce expenses, particularly when dealing with something as massive as Behemoth, which required 32,000 GPUs and handled more than 30 trillion tokens. Meta announced ambitious goals for the Llama 4 models. Mark Zuckerberg stated that their aim was to create the top AI globally, share it with everyone, and allow widespread usage. According to Meta's blog post, the Llama 4 Scout was declared the top multimodal model in its group, surpassing previous Llama versions. Meta did not claim that these were the strongest models globally, but rather emphasized how successful Llama 4 was compared to others in its category. This is what the benchmarks revealed. In tests like Math 500, GPQA Diamond, and MMLU Pro, Llama 4 Behemoth performed better than GPT, 4.5, Gemini 2.0 Pro, and Claude Sane 3.7. Llama 4 Maverick performed better than GPT 4.0, in Gemini 2.0, flash in areas such as ChartQA, DocVQA, MathVista, and MMMU. It was on par with DeepSeek V 3.1, but used fewer active parameters. Llama 4, Maverick scored 90.0 in ChartQA and 94.4 in DocVQA. Llama 4 Scout performed just as well as or better than Mistral, 3.1, Gemini 2.0 flashlight, in Gemma 3 and important tests, it achieved high scores comparable to DocVQA at 94.4 and MathVista at 70.7. Now let's take a look at the comparison between Llama 4 and DeepSeek. Llama 4 vs DeepSeek, a close match at the top. When it comes to complex thinking tasks, Llama 4 is considered to be among some of the best models such as DeepSeek R1, OpenAI's O1 series, Claude Sonnet, and Gemini 2.0. However, how does it fare in direct comparisons? Through benchmark tests, the top-of-the-line Llama 4 model, also called Behemoth, was compared with DeepSeek R1 and OpenAI O1217. The findings showed a close competition between them. Behemoth scored 95.0 on the Math 500 test, which was slightly lower than DeepSeek R1's score of 97.3 and OpenAI O1's score of 96.4. However, Behemoth performed better on the GPQA Diamond test with a score of 73.7, surpassing DeepSeek but falling short of OpenAI01, who scored 75.7. In the MMLU benchmark, Behemoth scored 82.2, while DeepSeek scored 90.8 and OpenAI01 scored 91.8. Even though Behemoth has lower numbers in performance compared to Gemini 2.0 Pro and GPT 4.5, it still ranks higher. Focus on safety and its future meta has placed a strong emphasis on 
safety and alignment in their latest model, Llama 4. This model comes with features like Llama Guard and Prompt Guard, which keep an eye on prompts and responses for any safety concerns. They also have CyberSec Evil to identify any security vulnerabilities in GOAT, which is Meta's automated tool for thorough safety testing. Safety is not the only thing Meta is worried about. They also talked about political bias. Meta said that previous AI models tended to show a bias towards left-leaning views on important political and social issues. But the new Llama 4 model is more balanced and caters more to right-wing opinions. This change in direction aligns with Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg's political stance after Donald J. Trump returned to power in the 2024 U.S. elections. Scout and Maverick have been released, and Behemoth is coming soon. The Llama 4 series by Meta is showing that they are a strong contender in the AI race. These new models are equipped to handle various types of input and complex reasoning tasks effectively, all while maintaining a competitive performance compared to other closed source options. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.